Alright guys, so first off, um, for the first video of this kind of like series things, I'm going to make a bunch of videos and upload them. Um, I'm going to be telling you a story and showing you a little bit of some cool reptiles. So right here is one of the geckos that I'm most proud of producing. Um, this is a Super Radar Leopard Gecko. Um, I did produce, I bred a Snow Eclipse Het Bell female to a Max Snow Radar male. So no matter what, all the babies were supposed to be 100% eclipses, and this guy is a super radar. Um, you can tell, really, because he has that white nose and the white face where the dots aren't. And you can see a little bit behind the neck right there. Um, it's like bald, sort of. There's no patterning coming in there, so that shows that he is definitely showing the eclipse gene prominent in him. And, um, yeah, his tail came out a little bit weird, as you can see. It's not fully, like, straight, but it's not a problem. It was probably because his egg was really tiny, and that's just how he laid in the egg, and his tail grew like that, which I think is kind of funny. It shows character. But, um, he's staying with me, and I'm really proud to have him in my collection, um, especially a Super Radar. That's a big deal. Um, I feel it's a big deal, honestly, because you don't have that. All right, and the next guy that I hatched out from this project, the second, or no, the third egg that hatched out was a total eclipse. And if you're doing the odds right now, it's a one-fourth chance that you're going to hatch out a super snow. And it's a basically one-eighth chance that you'll hatch out a super radar or you'll hatch out a total eclipse from that pairing that I mentioned earlier in the video, a snow eclipse bred to a max no radar in the snow eclipse head for bell so basically i hatched out a total eclipse which great odds already i mean that's amazing i mean i wanted to hatch out both these animals and i got both which um i was really blessed to hatch out both of these but um as the second egg hatched out i was really shocked because i didn't get what i was looking for now the second egg that hatched out you're going to be a little bit surprised and you're going to see a difference between these two animals. Um, that's why I'm leaving out the super snow. Because you will, I guarantee you, you'll see a difference. So as you can see, I hatched out a regular super snow from that pairing. Now this does not show the eclipse gene like this one shows. You can really tell, you can see the white nose on that guy. And the white legs. And that shows the eclipse gene. And you can see how much lighter he is compared to this one. It's a little comparison. And they're both super snows. So, I was like, huh, the first one hatched out like this. I was just like, well, that doesn't show the eclipse, and I'm really confused. And the second one hatched out to be an eclipse. So, I contacted a breeder friend of mine, and he said sometimes the genes skip um, with the bells. The eclipse doesn't get passed on, which I thought was really interesting because both parents are visible eclipses. So, I was just like, the baby should have been an eclipse. And he said... He's had um, similar things happen in his projects where the eclipse sheen doesn't get passed on from both of two solid eclipse parents. And he said it's something that he notices in the bells. I don't know if it happens in the trempers as well. Um, I know it happened in the bells, and I know it happened twice in the bells when I was working with. Um, because I also have another instinct that I was always a little bit confused. I was just like, did this hatch out of another project? Did it not? Basically, what I did is I bred a my Eclipse female to a Max No Radar male, and I hatched out a normal. And I was just like, how does this happen? Because they're both visible eclipses. Well, once this baby hatched out, and I knew both parents were visible eclipses, and I kept track of the eggs, and this was the only possibility to hatch out these geckos this season, um, I was like, oh, so that explains this girl right here. So, basically, I've had it happen twice that the eclipse gene from two parents doesn't get passed on to the offspring. So, I think that's very, very cool um, that it doesn't happen in the Punnett Square of it all. That it doesn't actually prove out with the eclipse gene sometimes. So, I wanted to share that guy with you. Um, especially um, that it happens in the bells. I never knew that. Um, and it has happened to me. So, I mean... To me, it's just like, wow. Um, 
stuff that you don't know about genetics and stuff like that. Like, I love genetics, and that's honestly one of the reasons why I got into these guys. And I thought it was very cool to see that the cliff sheen, which when it's visible um, in the phenotype, I believe I'm saying that correctly. Um, yeah, the phenotype, um, that the cliff sheen isn't present. But this gecko's definitely 100% had eclipse, but it just doesn't show the eclipse sheen like this one does. So this one is just a super snow 100% het radar, and this one is a super snow uh, eclipse het bell. So very cool to see the comparison between the two. Um, I think it's very cool. I want to share this with you guys. Um, it's something that most people don't know happens um but it does happen so i wanted to share that with you um just some little things you'd never notice about genes or don't know about it that people don't tell you so i wanted to share this with you guys and i thought this little short video would be a very cool interesting uh gene type of informational video that this does happen sometimes in bells and I don't know if it happens in Trempers or Las Vegas's, but I would not be surprised if it did. Um, or it could just be something with the Bell Albino gene that it doesn't allow it to pass on. But regardless, this is a very cool um, project and in instant where this happens. And I just wanted to let you guys know this. All right, guys. Um, enjoy. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned a little bit about the clip gene through this and how it goes through Bell's. And if anyone has heard that it does something similar in Trumpers or Las Vegas's, um, be sure to hit me up on that. I definitely would be curious. Um, you could email me at spidermonkey281exotics at yahoo.com or you could Facebook message me. Um, I will put the Facebook and email in the description. Um, and feel free, guys, um, to message me if you heard something about this. I mean, it's definitely something that doesn't happen a lot, but... Um, it's something that's really cool that you never probably knew about the clip sheen. So I didn't know about it, so I just wanted to share it with you guys. All right, later.